train. Ugh. I hate waiting for trains, but I am leaving for vacation, and it's fucking hotter than shit outside. So uh, I'll catch you back when there's not a train. Yay, trains. Um, I don't know. I'm awkward. Because there's someone behind me, and I just feel weird pulling out my phone. Because I know I just have a sneaking suspicion that he's looking at me, but... Um, Okay, I'll catch you later. Little fuzzy things. I don't really want to touch it. There's a flower. Ooh. Look at it all. Nice. This is just where we're staying. It's a cute little house. Okay. These flowers. Yes, we love flowers and bees. Oh, look up here. Look at that. Yes. How gorge is that? Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Look at it all. Nice. Oh. Look how cute that is. And you can have like your cup. Right here. Oh, yeah. Wow. So beautiful. Okay. Should we keep going? I don't know. I think I'm allowed down here. Let's go. Look at that. Wow. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, gosh. There's a lot of bugs over here. Should be careful. Just watch, I'm gonna get fucking eaten by something. <laughs> there are bugs everywhere. Ew, 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 ew. Ow. Oh, look at that. Wow. How pretty is that? Okay. Nice. There are bugs everywhere out there. This really cute other little room. Look at that. How cute. How cute. How cute. Oh, that's me. I was like, what the fuck is that? The outer world, which I'll show you. Cute little bathroom. Toilet. Important. Yeah. It's so cute. Two beds. Pictures of snow bullets. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is okay. This is all right. Hey, you still there? Yeah. Uh, the other coolers right here. Yeah. Wait, so you got uh, you beverages? You get more than one? Nope. I only brought that for the drive, for me. I thought Nick got Coke Zero, no? No, I asked you if you wanted, you said no. Well, and Taylor didn't pack the Coke Zero? No, Taylor didn't pack the Coke Zero. You guys, get it. Love. 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 That looks so awkward. Okay. Yeah, this is really nice. There are like, there's, bon there's a bonfire pit somewhere. I'm missing. 
do not know genuinely, but it's so nice. Okay, look at that. Oh god, the rocks are so hot. So I'm on vacation right now, and I like this angle, but it's fine. Um, Family's a little hangry, so I have escaped to a different part of our little, little place we're staying because the family gets a little antsy, antsy, antsy. Here's my hair. There are bugs everywhere. Actually, that was protecting my eyeballs from the sun, as you can probably tell. Okay. Come on. This should be good. Right? I have nothing to say. I'm just showing you the views. <laughs> the views. The view from the place. Okay, let's go back. Try not to get eaten alive. There's so many little tiny bugs. I don't mind it, but it's just like a little bit humid outside, so um, they're sticking to me in a weird way. Um, yeah, look at all this stuff. Oh, much fun. Pine cone. Yes. The baby pine cone. Oh, it's so cute. Wait, oh, look at these orange flowers. Look at, look at, can I get a good, uh, whatever. Oh, wow, I'm winded. Winded, truly. Okay. Don't even focus anymore. There we go. Look at these. Wait, wait, wait. Those are nice. Look at it. There's a little bee in one of them. How cute. I love bumblebees. They're so cute. Oh, there's a monarch. Dude, I can't run. Holy oh, shit, I'm wind. Probably the treatment, but. Probably shouldn't be like overexerting myself too much because I literally don't have that. Nice. Okay, I'm done making this, <laughs> this little thing. Okay, bye. First night of vacation, uh, not the end, but it's it's the nighttime, and I just took a shower, and it, the showers are so nice, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm so comfy. I have a huge bed all to myself. I fucking love sleeping. <laughs> um, I like sleeping, but I don't like sleeping because like. Sometimes sleeping makes me anxious for other reasons, but what I can tell you is that I don't understand why, 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 why. I've had a few drinks, but it's fine. Um, I'm getting like acne right here and acne right here, although I know that like, I know that like some chemo drugs can like make you break out and like change your fucking whole body chemistry. Um, but I think, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watch some YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to watch some YouTube and just try to kind of chill because I had a hard time, like, I'm just having a hard time with, like, eating disorder thoughts right now. Um, like, I've eaten too much, even though I know... I know that I haven't, and I know that, like, I know that I haven't eaten enough, but I'm just trying to tell myself, like, it's okay, like, you didn't overeat, and, but it's really hard. I'm finding it to be really difficult because, 
it's just hard and so I don't know I'm doing the best that I can so um, I'm gonna go I keep on forgetting that the camera's over there um, but I'm gonna try to relax and not worry about kind of what I've eaten today what I look like um, you know chemo it makes you puffy it makes you puff up and can make you look kind of like a balloon that's like pretty normal um, some chemo drugs, not all of them, but, um, I'm just trying to do the best that I can, but, like, eating disorder thoughts are really, really, really strong right now, and I'm just, I'm not feeling good about the way I look or, um, but not, so, I don't know, I'm doing the best that I can, but, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Um, we're outside next to a fire. Actually, let me clean you off. Is that any better? I don't think it made a difference. We're outside. Yay, the fires. And tortilla chips. Yum. We're gonna have s'mores too, so that'll be good. I'm back again. Hello. Um, I have concluded the second night of our vacation <clears throat> and I'm just I'm not feeling good about just my whole like my mental health but also like my eating and I feel like I've eaten a lot I still do struggle with eating disorder stuff and and whatnot and so this has been a really hard trip you know like family is one of my biggest stressors in life I don't want this seems crazy um but family is a really big stressor for me and being around people constantly is a really big stressor for me and so being here where I'm not able to kind of escape really in the way that I would be able to usually it's just been it's been really hard Hello everyone, uh, today has concluded my last night of vacation. I leave tomorrow morning, well, mid-afternoon. I was doing some, doing some happy, right? It's actually relaxing, I don't know why. It doesn't taste very good. <laughs> oh, it doesn't react well with the sugar free shit. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been tough, it's been tough. I'll probably only drink half of this, I don't sh Although, that'll be fine. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. So, this has been the last last the last night of my that what I'm saying my vacation um it's been hard it's been hard I would be lying if I said it was like totally perfectly fine um, I've really struggled with eating and just everything I've struggled with sleeping with eating I've been going to bed super, super late. It's decaf coffee, by the way. So, for you guys, I'll say it's the caffeine. Well, it's not. <laughs> um, anyways. Um, I've really struggled with, like, sleeping and eating. And it's frustrating because I still feel all the effects of, like, restriction and of, like, eating issues and I'm still fat I don't get it I don't get it <clears throat> and it's really hard it's really hard um I don't know I don't know what else to say. I'm just kind of, I'm with it, but not really with it, and I just, I don't know what to say. 
I don't know what to say. Um, other than I wish I didn't struggle with eating because it's torture. It is, it is pure and utter torture. Like, you know, with like self harm, you just kind of don't have the utensils around to hurt yourself. And with like, I don't know, other self-destructive behaviors like don't have alcohol around or don't have drugs around, but it's like food is just like everywhere. And I'm not saying that like other people's addictions aren't valid because they absolutely are. And it's so hard. Like recovery from anything is super hard. And I'm finding that recovery from an eating disorder has been one of the most challenging things in my life because it's just everywhere. It surrounds you constantly and like I wish you didn't need food to live. <sighs> but you do. And I struggle. I do struggle, so bullshit. It's all bullshit, right? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be like the last vlog video thing that I do. Um, so I don't know, but today was just, today was really challenging. I had a, I have a hard mental health kind of appointment. Um, it was a virtual one, obviously because of COVID and because I'm not, you know, not at home. <laughs> um, and it was just really hard and it kind of threw off my entire day from the very start, which I have a lot of that all or nothing thinking where I'm just like, well, everything's fucked. So I should just fuck everything up. Right? Like I just perpetuate the self-hatred and the, um, the issues when like, I definitely, sorry, I'm going to focus there. Um, when I definitely could have corrected it from the beginning but no like once one thing goes wrong I'm like the whole day has to just be fucked and then I can start fresh tomorrow and I have very much so then that mentality and it just makes it all the more challenging to be successful and to do well and I'm not saying that's anybody's fault but mine because it's literally my fault <laughs> but it is challenging and it makes for a hard life <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really have anything else for you, but, um, if this is the last video, thank you all for watching, and I love you guys all so, so much, and just remember to be kind, to be gentle to yourself, because the world is hard enough already, and, um, we don't need to make it harder on ourselves or other people, so I love you guys so, so much, and I hope you're having a wonderful morning, evening, night, whenever the fuck you're watching this, and just remember... You deserve to live a fulfilling life. That's my brother. You deserve to live a fulfilling and beautiful life and a life that's worth living. Because, you know, engaging in symptoms like this, behaviors like this, that's not what, that's not worth it. And we all know that, but it's hard. So just remember to be gentle with yourself. Mm -hmm.